the 2014 champion of the world on Baby Flo. Congratulations. Congratulations. World champion. What's up, Flo Maze? Welcome back to round two of the BBR World Finals. Baby Flo and I are super ready to compete. I have my brain bridge right inside this magical cup because we are about 30 minutes out from me making my second run. super stoked about it. And you guys, today is a big day because we find out whether or not we're gonna be able to qualify back to the short round. So you don't know, it's progressive, you gotta do good. I don't even know how we ended up yesterday because we've been so gassed with all the stops along the tour that we didn't even stay to check. We just went straight home to try to get some sleep. So hopefully you guys will be able to see us come home with a short round qualification. We will know soon enough. So you guys stay tuned. Baby Flo looks like she's ready to take a nap. So hey, lady, we're about to make a run. Come on, hurry, get crazy. Ironically enough, inside of the Jim Norick Arena, Baby Flo does not love it, and so she gets super hyped. So this is good news. This is really good news. All right. Let's get ready to go inside. And, uh, hope Lolo is sleeping. So. Come on, hurry. Hurry. Don't pick on that doggy.
you. Okay, we're all done. Baby flow was amazing. And we're gonna meet you guys right here. Door 1C, I just need to water her, give her love, take care of her. I'll be back about 6.15. Hey guys, it's Megan Hotard and Chesney Neal. We're here with Valen Taylor to ask a few questions about her run today at BBR World Finals. <laughs> Valen, how was, how was your run today? What did you think about it? I think that um, my videographer and best friend, C-Money, says it best when it's completely chaos. You typically are a lot faster than all the perfect stuff that we try to do all the time. When everything almost falls apart is when you clock really, really fast. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Um, what piece of advice can you offer to our viewers that, uh, that are wanting to ride at the level that you do? Consistency is going to out, outdo a checkbook. A fancy truck, a big trailer, a store-bought pony, <laughs> consistency, consistency, right consistency. Because if I can compound the effort that I put into what I do in the gym and in my mental practice and meditation and into my horses, 1% every single day, I'm going to outdo somebody that gives 20 or 30% once a month every single time. Yes, ma'am. Okay. All right. Um, and I have a question. Born six, what do you think of the ink I mean, I think that as a pro rodeo athlete, I encounter things that are much, much more dangerous. Oh, yeah. Um, so for me, um, you know, I'm running on grass at Pendleton, or they dr don't drag with 15 riders at the National Finals Rodeo when there's 30,000 on the line every single night. So for there to be things like that, I've already mentally prepared for something like that. Um, and so that's a, just a part of my mental game. It's actually very fun for me. Um, I prefer that there be either rain, a storm, bad ground, a terrible alley, because that eliminates the amount of competitors that are mentally prepared for that. Yeah, it's an awesome. ethical way to win. Awesome. All right. Well, thank you so much of for course. giving us your time and good luck the rest of the week. <laughs> <laughs> Um, I have a few of my friends here with me. How do you guys think I did? Good. Good? Okay, good. I'm so excited for you guys to be a part of this at home. Thank you guys to everyone here that helped to cheer me on. And you guys, if you're not already subscribed, make sure to be subscribed. Get some of the hottest merch in the game at ranchdressing.com. And like I always say, don't forget to count your blessings, drink your protein, and say thank you to Jesus. See you next time.